Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Can I really trust you? Absolutely! Absolutely. I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish? 
my blasphemous? Timbers. Quis atem vel veleptate vel eat. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Oof. Okay. Well? Nothing is happening. You must have screwed something up, Guybrush. Get it right next time. Come back when you know the right answers. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Plunder? My blasphemous? Timbers. Quis atem vel veleptate vel eat. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Oof. Okay. <gasps> wow! Look! There are lines on it. It's working! Magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Noted. No. Oh. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. That was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> uh, 
I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? I think my pancreas is broken. Do you even know where your pancreas is? Judging by the pain, I'd say everywhere. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? What about all the things you just said? We better hurry if we're gonna get there first. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Fantastic. Thank you. Race you to the ship. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump, maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Slowpoke. You had a head start. That's still the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. No, actually, it's now the third biggest. Well, fourth if you include the underwater one. Brush. Should we get started? Ready when you are. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Should we get started? Ready when you are.
advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. We did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage. I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. I'm not leaving again without the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Cool. You're welcome. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I don't imagine I'll have much use for it now. <laughs> How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. Searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ha! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and 
We join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Someone to face Delane's scurvy flyer. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? It's in that big safe by the door, right? Yes. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh... But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her, and she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it, and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract, signed in blood, with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret, full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers. But I make no promises. Uh, I hate to leave it here, but I can't take the safe with me, and I need to find keys to open it. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am wider lean bones. Whitey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bird. Yuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have just to try it out? Not so Right, boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. 
You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Let's just enjoy the ride. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Hi there. Hello. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Specially formulated alloy to withstand the corrosive nature of the sea. They're great for securing my gear on board my ship. Hey, guy brush. It says, jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. Otis, 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 what are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes! You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. 
it's been reduced to rubble. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Hi! Bright boy! How was your search? Are you sure I can't borrow your golden key? How many keys you got yourself, boy? Uh, none. Come back when you've got more than I got. Maybe we can talk partnership then. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. Mm. The shop seems nice. If by nice you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? That's an interesting mounting method. Caught that one trying to escape. Flounders sure are funny looking fish. Mm. You say that now, but wait till you're alone and sinking in a fierce northern squall, battling to land the beastie in time to use him mm. to patch the hole in your boat. It's a copy of At the End of the Plank. Oh, I a gift from a good friend. I haven't actually read it myself yet. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. Mm. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Do you guys fish? Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. B what? Good at fishing. She mm. had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though it is rumored that she left a clue as to its whereabouts. Can I join the chums? I feel as though I should warn you that, this being the more casual mode of the game, participation in the chums is strictly for fun. There'll be no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Totally useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? Well... I promise to keep it semi-secret. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. OK. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. 
He's supposed to look for the lures. I'd like to buy some toadfish. Fresh off the boat. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. He's a handsome devil. First fish I ever caught. Couldn't bear to eat it. Of course, I was only a lad of three at the time. Nice crab. Fought him for 11 hours. Sorely wanted to eat him. <laughs> but it weren't crab season at the time. Nice shark. Don't let the size fool ya. The coral fire shark is the most dangerous shark of all. That one took down 17 good sailors and three dinghies before we even reeled them in. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. Hmm. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. That's an amazing trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy and fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. What are those fish up there called? Floaters. Best not to ask why. Well, they look great, but I don't have a wheelbarrow. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Declare us all the winner. Excellent, Marlin. Aye, that ain't real. It's a promotional item from a local yak butter fellow. But it looks nice enough. than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. 
And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. I hear patio dining is all the rage these days. You could think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, we ran across a mermaid stranded on a rock. Or maybe mer-person is more correct? Obviously you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Hi there. Hi. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older.
Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? Oh, would you consider my firstborn child in exchange? What? It's just a figure of speech. I hope you're not serious. It's just a figure of speech. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take it. Yes! It was surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used to it. Life's not like that very often. I wonder what they're waiting for. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. My brilliant deduction is that the museum is closed. The light's off. Looks like they're closed. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. Hi there, little guy. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll, uh, keep an eye out for them. <laughs> hey! 
Hello. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it! <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation's Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. 